That's a top four reactor. Welcome back to another course, guys. As always, I always like to start with our giveaway. So, right here, we're going to have a dynamic disc swag bag. So, starting off, a little drawstring bag here. Fun little goodie. We have a carrying case bag. I've used this maybe like two times, but had this in there. Wanted to give this away. Uh, just fit the theme here, but had some sweet stuff come up. So, really cool towel right here, American flag theme awesome little mini that you guys can use we have the scorecard pair of sunglasses from here this is a little keychain we got the mini permanent marker and from my sponsor right here we have a judge so that can be yours as well but it has that flight factory stamp on there so that will be the giveaway as always just make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a comment all right, guys, we are in Seguin, Texas, home of the largest pecan, but we're going to be playing Texas Lutheran University today. Great course on a college campus. Here we go. Hole one, par three, 373. Uh, you could throw a turnover, sidearm, whatever you feel comfortable with, but definitely got to get it out there. So this course had that 3.9 rating. I know they added new tee pads. They did a little bit of work to it, so they've definitely improved it really nice baskets as well with those dynamic disc baskets so you can kind of just see the theme that we're doing for this video but hole two par three 332 this first tree right here is a mando left so you can't throw it over the road so it's a pretty tough shot uh just trying to get as much hyzer as you possibly can you could probably definitely get a roller there just got to be cautious of uh, you know going ob with that road so came up probably about a hundred feet short of it or so just going to be tapping in for a par but so far two fun little holes hole three par three 241 this is definitely one that got pushed back this is probably closer to 300 or so maybe a little further than that but just throwing across the field you're going to see golf balls in this area and some flags there's golfing to the right so that's just kind of where the course will end and then work its way back to campus. But ended up parking this hole, so happy with that one. Hole four, this is going to probably be one of my favorite holes. I just love where they put the basket in between all these trees. Just a, a cool little shot here. Anytime you can use nature like that or trees, it just adds a lot to the course, in my opinion. And, you know, even the short little hole becomes super challenging if you do not get in the right a um, little line of trees right there and, and hit that spot but hole five got to keep this one low that person that you saw in the time lapse actually picked up my disc and thought it was the other people or other people's discs and then he set it back down it's kind of in the same area but it was just kind of funny those people off to the left walking he thought it was their disc so i was able to park that one as well but hole six is going to be a pretty tough one the i think it's the fifth or sixth tree is a mando so you have to go around all the trees so you got to just throw a huge hyzer that'll stall out and travel really really far left pretty tough uh tough one in my opinion but definitely a unique hole with the ob right there as well and that mando just changes the dynamic of it hole seven this one does not have a mando but they ask if there's cars in the parking lot to the left not to throw the sidearm and of course my luck there was a, a car parked there so i had to go the long way but there are no mandos on this one and and you can see uh, they're they're going to be putting in signs soon but everything was written on udisc for their rules so i'm just going off a of memory there but once again a lot of ob with the roads so hole eight 225 going to be up on top of this hill next to that tree so just a, a pretty scenic coal right here and it definitely plays a little bit further and i was having a really strong headwind you'll find out in a second where that uh, that disc will get carried in the wind so was able to make the comebacker though with a little bit of a tailwind 
save par. So hole nine. This is probably my least favorite hole on the course. I just wish they would have done something a little bit further instead of a, just a 250-foot basic hyzer. They could have pushed this one a lot further back and potentially made it a par 4 and just had a, a really, really cool hole because there's a par 4 on the other side coming back that you play on. And it was a long walk to the next tee pad, if I remember correctly. So they, they missed out on a lot of space there. But hole 10 got to be careful on this one because the road is directly behind it and i thought i had a great shot but this is definitely a death putt right here just because that road is ob so i got so lucky there <laughs> i thought i was going out of bounds hole 11 you got ob on the left side and i uh, just got to throw something low i'm throwing my insanity here something that'll flip up and it did but it just uh had a skip went out of bounds and I always try to be, you know, play play real disc off when I'm out there, follow the rules as best I can, take my strokes. So just kind of tossing it in right there where it went OB as best as I could see it. What do you guys do in that situation? You guys follow it, you play from the OB. Just curious. Hole 12, part three. Pretty short one right here, going through the trees. Wanted to try to get out a little bit far and get that flare skip but ended up hitting this big tree just the one i was trying to get around but it's all right so line up taking a par here so moving on to the next hole hole 13 par 3 3 13 gonna be behind that tree it's kind of hard to see had to walk off at an angle and then you can see it but got to keep something low because those branches are pretty low once it comes in i think i ended up catching one and as you can tell, definitely a windy day as well. That is the theme of Texas is what I'm discovering. So hole 14, par 3, 273. Kind of up there on another mound. And that first, uh, I was throwing my deflector just because of the wind. I thought I parked it. And then, you know, you have those holes where you walk up and you're like, oh, never mind. Definitely did not park it, so... Uh, did not want to run that putt just because of the mound behind it and the road and the wind. So here we go. Another short little par three sidewalk OB. So I love the way that they, they put it pretty close to make it challenging to all the sidewalks and roads for the OB. But throwing a hyzer around that first little tree and, and you definitely have plenty of options. And I was nervous that that one was going to roll out, but it definitely stuck for me. So it's going to be the first par four pretty low ceiling at first wide open on the right though so a little over 500 feet gonna be throwing my uh, straight flying octane here and was able to keep it low and had a great drive so i was very happy with that drive and uh pretty darn close so a little bit probably just a little over 400 foot drive there and my layup wasn't the greatest definitely could have got closer but was able to sink the putt for a birdie there Hole 17, par 3, 285. So from here, going to be throwing a sidearm. It's going to be coming back in. But once again, pretty cool little hole here. Uh, just the way that they shape it. The trees over there as well. But hole 18, 402. Like I said, they redesigned the course. I don't think this one was as accurate, just like hole number three. I don't think it was 100% accurate, but downhill, you're up on top of a mound, throwing down. Just a fun one to grip and rip. It may be 400 with that downhill, but regardless, that, that wind just pushed my disc down and hazarded it out. So I had to lay up and thought that disc was about to roll away, but was able to save the par so overall this course ton of fun if you guys are in the area there was another um course that was there as well that i played for the tournament um if you guys get a chance check it out